Ever since our dog Chance, like the greatest Great Pyrenees that has ever existed, he was so amazing. Ever since he was hit by a car last year and passed away, we have been struggling with our dog situation. It's been kind of a thing for almost a year now. Pretty soon after we lost Chance, I realized that we were not gonna have any chickens left if we did not get a new dog because we get Great Pyrenees because we want them to have a job and to be guardian dogs. And so we wanted to get a puppy right away. And so we got Tucker and we were on the fence about maybe getting one or two because it's yeah. always good to, for a dog to have a companion. And we decided, let's just get one for now yeah. and see how it goes. Because Begin Chance was like such a great single dog and it's because Chance was very bonded to being inside and bonded to us. So it, it just kind of made sense. I didn't really even think about getting a second dog for him. But when we were gonna get the new dog, we thought, well, maybe it'd be a good idea to get two, but we didn't. We got one, we decided we'll figure yeah. it out. And we realized that Tucker was pretty much solely an outdoor dog. And the loneliness that kind of comes with that, we didn't really take into account as much. We've been pretty much talking about it since that day we brought him home. The thing about Tucker is that he's an amazing dog, but... We've had some <laughs> issues with him playing with the chickens and killing them. Yeah, which he is plays a... with them to death. Most people would have just gotten rid of the Great Pyrenees, but to us, it's like, look, if you have, if you get an animal, you have the animal. And honestly, the whole thing about Tucker killing some of the chickens has been our fault because we didn't know how to like train him. Train he was him. our first dog that we really yeah. trained up from a puppy. Tucker, it's been challenging and we've worked with him a lot and he has come a long, long way. The thing that made us decide that we should get another dog was when we saw Tucker grab a toy and throw it to one of the chickens. And he kept picking it up and throwing it to the chickens and they'd run away. And, and so Sarah was like, Jordan, I think we should get another dog. And so we we drove to Kentucky. We drove a long, long way away. It was like almost two hours away and we got a new dog. Her demeanor is so much different than she, uh, than uh, Tucker's. She, she is so much calmer. This is Nora. But this is pretty much how she acts most of the time. She is a sleepy, lazy puppy, which this is, this was nothing like Tucker was, but no. this is how a Great Pyrenees typically is. Right. <laughs> so. She currently sleeps with us because she cries all night if she's not with us. And if she's outside, she definitely cries all night. And like Tucker was not like that. Tucker was like an outdoor dog. It was just in his brain. But with her, she's got to sleep in on the Helix mattress with us all night long. And she sleeps like a rock, just like we do. So I guess dogs like Helix as well. Helix has supported our channel for well over two years now, and they have definitely helped us with the finances for dog food. Having two great Pyrenees is not cheap. Let's put it that way. We are so thankful for them. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences based on your sleep style and body type. With so many options of mattresses on their site, how they fit you with the perfect one pretty fun. They have developed a sleep quiz, which only takes about 30 seconds to take. And in that amount of time, they hone in exactly the kind of sleeper you are, your body type and everything, and hone you into the perfect mattress for you. Sarah and I could not agree on a mattress because we are, it's different sleepers. I am unfortunately a stomach sleeper and Sarah is a side sleeper. She sleeps on one side, then she flips in the middle of the night, sleeps on the other side, just like a piece of toast. We both like slightly different softnesses and so anyways, we took the sleep quiz together and we got the Helix Sunset Lux mattress and it is the perfect mattress for us. Click the link down in the description to take the sleep quiz. And the best part about all of this is that it delivers right to your door for free if you live in the US. It just comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set it up yourself. And if it makes you nervous buying a mattress online, then don't worry because they have a 100 night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure that it's the perfect mattress for you. Let her go. Let her go. She's... I think she's hot. And if you somehow do not like your mattress, then they'll pick it up. Full refund. Full, full refund. 
refund. Full refund. It's a full <laughs> refund. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10-year warranty, and they also offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so the perfect night's sleep is literally available for everyone. We love our Helix, and we really think that you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. You can click the link down in the description below, or go to helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor for up to $200 off your mattress and two free dream pillows. That's helixsleep.com slash Jordan Taylor. Check it out. And let's try and get her to come back. She's just dead asleep over there. I mean, I get hot under these lights too. Like it's smiling. crazy. We went to the a Mennonite community up in Kentucky and they it was a great experience really. The people were awesome. And Nora was with all of her brothers and sisters and we really struggled which one we should pick out. Cause it's like, man, you're making a decision that you're gonna have for like 12 years, you know what I mean? And it's like, what, what if we picked the wrong one? Anyway, so Nora was like the runt of the litter and I was just like, Let's, we're getting that one. She actually loves being held, but she just gets hot. Look at her, she's hot. We're so hot. <laughs> she likes it. And she's very cuddly. Tucker and Nora, they love each other so much. It's like the cutest thing. It happened instantly. It's amazing to see just how much calmer Tucker is. Now he's always at about 50%. And so when I go out, it's like er, 65. So yes. he's never like attacking, hurting you because he's so excited. My niece is actually afraid of Tucker, which is so sad because he's really good and nice, but yeah. he's rough. He just and doesn't so understand. I think having Nora, it's teaching him, not only a companion for him, but it's also teaching him to be more gentle. Yeah. And our plan worked because he almost doesn't even look at the chickens anymore. Yeah, it was... Speaking of which, <laughs> yeah. it is amazing how just getting a puppy just so much diverted his attention. It's like they don't exist anymore, but he still will, uh, you know, he'll still defend them. You can see that he'll in him. He'll still do his like protective behaviors. I tell myself this, this is the last animal that we are going to buy. Now, that's not to say. So we think right now. <laughs> yes, that's not to say that if we get more land at some point, Look, then all, there's no rules at that point anymore. We breed the chickens ourselves, so that's not a purchase, right. Sarah. That's right. just uh, an and they accumulation. Come and go. I say that, but we also got a rabbit. For, I got a rabbit for my birthday named Trinity, a white rabbit named Trinity. Very, very cute, very nice. Yeah, Should that's. We get Trinity? This is the bonus for people who have stayed to the end. So with Nora, we definitely had some reservations. Like the day that we brought her home, we're like, oh no, like, did we make the right decision? But within a few hours, we realized. We definitely did, mm -hmm. and so we're very excited. Yeah, about her. it's always a big thing because the Great Pyrenees, they are so large and they eat a lot of food, and it does cost a lot of money. Again, thank you, Helix. But you know, when you see the happiness that it brings Tucker, and he's just so much more content, it's like, man, I, I'm willing to spend the money for that. I really like Tucker a lot. He's really special to me, so I want him to be happy. And I can't be outside playing with him all the time. Anyways, we have too many animals now, guys. I don't think so. I think humans were meant to meant to have a lot of animals. Everything is so low maintenance. Like the chickens, we have an automatic door opener and stuff. Automatic the automatic feeders. feeder. The the cats, cats have, have automatic, automatic feeders. feeders. And the rabbit stays out kids stay outside and we didn't have to really think about that and just give her a bunch of hay. So I don't know, it's like we have a lot of animals. Yeah, but it's not hard. It's not something I'm thinking about like 24 seven or anything. So thank you guys so much. I Nora, do you wanna come this is where Nora's Did you wake up? Say bye-bye.